<laughs> hey gang, and welcome back. Just a reminder, you can use the promo code MTGMUDSTA at FlipSideGaming.com. You'll get 10% off orders of $10 or more, and help with the channel at the same time. You could also consider turning off your ad blocker when watching my videos. You can't see it unfortunately due to the new angle of my games, but this week I was provided a t-shirt by Epic Upgrades. It's their I Miss A Lot Of Triggers, which is very fitting considering how I play Rhystic Studies. I've got another themed game for you, and this week we're all playing mono black decks. I'm playing Erebos, and I keep Ghost Quarter, Silence the Believers, Three Swamps, Lake of the Dead, and Increasing Ambition. Kevin is playing the deck that you all know and love, Gaunti, and he keeps Three Swamps, Shriek Maw, Kozilek Butcher of Truths, Machias the Unhallowed, and an Urborg. Eric is playing Maronar, and he has three rat colonies, two swamps, Charcoal Diamond, and Oppression. Last but not least, Armin is playing his Chainer deck, and he keeps four snow-covered swamps, Smothering Abomination, Fleshbag Marauder, and a Vesuva. Kevin wins the die roll and starts us off. Kevin plays an Urborg and passes to Eric. Eric plays a Swamp and passes. Armin plays a Snow-Covered Swamp and passes to me. I play a Swamp as well and I pass. Kevin plays a Cabal Stronghold, passing to Eric. Eric plays a Swamp and he casts Charcoal Diamond. Armin plays another Snow-Covered Swamp and passes back to me. I drop Lake of the Dead, sacrificing my Swamp and passing turn. Kevin plays a Swamp, and he also casts a Charcoal Diamond. Eric has no land to play, but this doesn't stop him from casting an Impression and passing to Armin. Armin plays another Snow-Covered Swamp, and he casts Beseech the Queen, discarding Fleshbag Marauder. He grabs Cabal Coffers, and he passes turn. I play a Swamp for my turn, and I pass. Kevin also plays a Cabal Coffers for his land for turn, and he makes 4 black mana. He casts Gaunti, and discards Shriek Maw, and as Gaunti comes in, he targets Armin. Kevin looks at the top 4 cards from Armin's library, and announces he's taking the only non-snow-covered swamp. Eric drops a swamp for turn, and he casts a rat colony, discarding a rat colony. He then casts Skull Clamp, and discards another rat colony. Armin plays a Cabal Coffers he tutored for, and activates it. He casts Phyrexian Arena, and discards his Smothering Abomination before passing to me. I play Bajuka Bog, and I exile Armin's Graveyard before passing to Kevin. Kevin plays a Swamp, and he passes turn. Eric plays a Swamp, and he casts Marrow Nar. He discards a Rack Colony, and passes turn. Armin drops a Vesuva, and has it come in as a copy of Kevin's Cabal Coffers for whatever reason. He casts a Steel Hellkite after activating his original Coffers, and he discards a Snow-Covered Swamp. I play a Ghost Quarter, and I pass to Kevin. Kevin drops a Swamp, and activates his Coffers for 6. He then taps 4 more mana, and he hard casts Kozilek, Butcher of Truths. Kevin discards a Dark Ritual, and draws 4 cards. Moving to combat, Kevin swings Gaunti at Eric for 2. With nothing else, he passes to Eric. Eric plays a Swamp, and he casts Rat Colony. He has no hand, so he has nothing to discard. He then taps Maronar, and sacrifices a Rat, making 2 more Rat tokens. He clamps one of them, drawing 2 cards. He then puts the clamp onto Maronar, and passes turn. Armin loses one from the arena to draw a card in his upkeep, and he plays a snow-covered swamp and casts Chainer, discarding Living Death. He then passes to me. I draw, and I play a Thespian Stage, hoping that someone's going to deal with Kozilek. Kevin plays a swamp for his turn, and he makes seven black mana with Cabal Coffers. He then casts a Blade of Selves, and equips it onto Gaunti, and then remembers to discard, pitching a swamp. At the beginning of Kevin's combat step, Armin activates his Cabal Coffers to pay for Chainer's ability, taking three and bringing back Kevin's Shriek Maw. Shriekma enters the battlefield and kills Kozilek. He then pays another 3 black mana and 3 life to steal Kozilek while the shuffle triggers on the stack. Kevin then moves to combat and swings Gaunti at Eric. He makes 2 copies, one swinging at Armin and one swinging at me. His tokens each haven't entered the battlefield trigger, and Armin gets one of the triggers while I get the other. Kevin picks a card from Armin and I's top 4, and then Eric and I take 2 while Armin blocks with one of his creatures. Kevin decides to finish off the rest of the creatures with Damnation in his second main phase before Armin even has enough time to put his one creature into the graveyard. Kevin does get to shuffle his graveyard into his library as Kozilek hits the bin. At the end of Kevin's turn, I tap my Thespian Stage to become a copy of Kevin's Cabal Coffers. Eric plays a Grim Tutor, and he discards a Rat Colony. He loses 3 life, and he goes to find a card. At the end of Eric's turn, I sacrifice my Ghost Quarter to destroy Armin's real copy of Cabal Coffers because having two while I only have one isn't fair. Armin loses one to his arena and draws an extra card before playing a Snow-Covered Swamp. He then activates Coffers and casts Ugin, discarding an Ensnaring Bridge. He then casts Bottomless Pit and upticks Ugin to deal 3 damage to Kevin. 
I lose my Massacre Worm on my upkeep to Armin's Bottomless Pit Trigger, and I play a Swamp. I then activate my Cabal Coffers to cast a Necrotic Ooze, and I discard a Swamp, passing to Kevin. Kevin discards Mystifying Maze to the Bottomless Pit, and plays a Swamp. He activates the Coffers to make 8 mana, and he casts my copy of Worse Fears, targeting Armin, and discards Micaeus. Eric discards a Crucible of Worlds, and not a Rat Colony, finally. He then draws for turn, and he casts a Smote Stack in his main phase, and discards a Rat Colony. Kevin orders the stack so that Armin will lose one life with the Arena Trigger, and then discard he drew with it to the Bottomless Pit. Armin then draws for turn, and Kevin has him cast Liliana of the Dark Realms, and chain her, after activating the Cabal Coffers. He then down takes Ugin by 9 to get rid of the Walker, and exile all colored permanents on the field. I play a Swamp for my turn, and make 6 mana with Cabal Coffers, using 5 to cast Increasing Ambitions. I find a card, and I pass to Kevin. Kevin draws for turn, and he casts Beseech the Queen after making 9 black mana with Cabal Coffers. He grabs Karn Liberated, and casts him, exiling the Smokestack with Karn's first down tick ability. Kevin then activates the Cabal Stronghold to make 5 black mana, and taps his last land for the mana needs to cast Gaunti. He puts the target on me, and he takes one of the top 4 cards from my library. Eric draws for turn, and has nothing to do, so he passes. Armin draws, and plays a Strip Mine, quickly sacrificing it to destroy Kevin's Cabal Coffers. He then activates his Vesuva copied Cabal Coffers, and recasts Chainer. I draw for turn, and activate my copied Cabal Coffers. I use the mana to cast Spine of Ishsa, and destroy Kevin's Karn. I then pass turn. Kevin casts a Yogmoth's Will, and plays his Cabal Coffers from the graveyard. He then activates the Coffers, and recasts Karn from the graveyard as well. Kevin then has Karn Exile Chainer, and activates his Cabal Stronghold to get enough mana to cast Necropotence. In his second main phase, Kevin pays 7 life to draw 7 cards at the end of his turn with Necropotence. Eric draws for turn, and he casts Butcher of Malakir, passing to Armin. Armin draws for turn, and he casts Phyrexian Altar before passing to me. I activate my Cabal Coffers and generate 6 black mana, using 3 of it to cast Read the Bones. I lose 2 life, and I keep both cards, choosing not to scry them to the bottom. Using my 3 remaining, I play and crack Expedition Map to find my copy of Cabal Coffers, playing it for turn. I then activate it and flashback Increasing Ambition to go to my library and find 2 cards. Kevin plays a Swamp and activates his Cabal Coffers, which is probably the card I've said the most this game. He casts a Rise of the Dark Realms and gets back some good creatures, 8 of which are actually rat colonies. Kevin then equips the Blade of Selves onto Gaunti. Kevin then upticks Karn to exile a card from my hand, and swings Gaunti at Eric again. Two copies come in, and Kevin hits Armin with one trigger, and me with the other. We all take two, and in Kevin's second main phase, Kevin casts and cracks an expedition map. Eric draws for turn, and brings back out Maronar, which actually helps Kevin because it gives all rats fear. He passes to Armin. Armin plays a snow-covered swamp on his turn, and he passes. I play a deserted temple, and activate my coffers for eight. I then pay 1 to untap the copied coffers, and pay 2 more to reactivate it, generating another 8 for a total of 13. I then pay 2 to activate my real copy of Koala coffers for another 8, bringing me up to 19, and I tap enough lands to bring it up to 21. I then pay 3 to cast Beseech the Queen, and I go to find Soren Markov. I cast Soren, and go to 12 mana. I then use Soren's minus ability to put Kevin to 10. With 12 mana still floating, I cast Profane Command, where X is 10, and deal 10 damage to Kevin, and give the Butcher of Malakir minus 10 minus 10. Eric draws for turn, and he moves to combat. He swings Marinar at Sorin, but I sacrifice a Swamp to the Lake of the Dead, to generate 4 black mana, and cast Silence the Believers. Eric then casts a Prismatic Lens, and passes to Armin. Armin plays a Scrying Cheats, and uses his coffers to bring back out Chainer, passing to me. I play a Swamp for my turn, and I cast Lash Wraith. I then cast Erebos, and I uptick Soren to drain Eric for two. Eric casts a Rat Colony in his main phase, and Skull Clamps it to draw two cards. He plays a Swamp for his turn, and he casts Swiftfoot Boots. At the end of turn, Armin activates Scrying Sheets, but doesn't find a Snow Permanent. Armin draws for his turn, and he casts Necrogen Mists. I discard a Black Sun Zenith in my main phase to the Mist Trigger, and draw for turn. I then move to combat, and hit Eric for four with a Lash Wraith, and cast Mutilate in my second main phase. Armin responds to the spell by activating his scrying sheets, and he finds a snow-covered swamp, putting it to his hand. I then uptick Soren to drain Eric for two and pass. Eric discards Diabolic Intent to the Mist Trigger and draws for turn. He casts a Rat Colony and clamps it to draw two. He then casts Liliana Vess and down ticks her to tutor for a card and put it on top of his library. Armin discards his snow-covered swamp and draws for turn, playing a Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. He then re 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 casts Chainer, passing to me. At the end of Armin's turn, I activate my Cabal Coffers for 4 mana, and I tap my remaining lands to lose 6 life and draw 3 cards from Erebos' ability. I discard Nemrinal's Disc on my upkeep to the Mist Trigger and draw for turn. 
I play a swamp for my turn and pay 4 mana and 4 life to draw 2 cards. I then make a bit of a misplay, tapping out and sacrificing a swamp to the Lake of the Dead to pay for Rise of the Dark Realms, forgetting that most of the creatures had been exiled after Kevin had cast the same spell earlier on. This results in me paying a ton of mana for 2 rat colonies, and with my 2 floating mana, I equip the Lash Wraith onto Erebos. I then downtick Sorn to put Eric to 10, and I smash into Eric with Erebos and put him to 1. Eric discards a Grave Pact and draws for his turn. He upticks the Liana and makes me discard a card. He then casts an Ensnaring Bridge and passes to Armin. Armin has nothing to discard and he draws for his turn before casting an Oblivion Stone and passing to me. I discard a card and I play a copy of Vesuva in my main phase, having it come in as copy of Armin's Vesuva, which was a copy of Kevin's Cabal Coffers. I uptick Sorn to kill Eric and drain him for two, fully aware that I'll lose the rat colonies by doing so. With nothing else, I pass to Armin. Armin draws and casts a Sadistic Hypnotist, sacrificing itself to its own ability to force me to discard two cards. He swings Chainer at Sorin, and before moving to blockers, I make 6 mana and pay it and 6 life to draw 3 cards with Erebos. Not finding any removal though, Sorin dies. Armin then activates Chainer's ability, losing 3 life to bring back the Hypnotist, and sacrifices it again to make me discard 2 cards. He brings it back once more, losing another 3 life, and he passes turn. I discard my Crypt Rats to the Mist Trigger and draw for turn. I play a Swamp, and I pass. Armin has nothing to discard, and he draws and casts the Sensei's Divining Top in his main phase. He swings Chainer and the Hypnotist at me for 6, and he passes. At the end of turn, I pay 10 mana and 10 life to draw 5 cards with Erebos. Armin activates his top and rearranges the top 3. I discard a Terrain Generator in my main phase and draw for turn. I cast a Harvester of Souls, and then Lillian of the Dark Realms. Armin realizes while I'm doing this that he can steal my Crypt Rats from my graveyard, and he has enough mana to do so, and then activate the Crypt Rat and kill me. Game review time. So I think I definitely punted a few times. I went a little bit too deep into my life total to draw cards with Erebos' activated ability, and that probably gave Armin the game. I also should have been more aware of what was in the graveyards when casting Rise of the Dark Realms, as Kevin had cast it and we'd lost a lot of the creatures to exile when he died. This was a huge oversight on my part, and something I don't aim to repeat in the future. Chainer is awesome, and paying only 3 mana and 3 life to reanimate a creature at instant speed is incredible. And he also acts like a lord, which is just the icing on the cake. Had I not used Ghost Quarter to take out one of Armin's Cabal Coffers, I think the game would have gone very differently. He probably would have started to bring back Eric's Rat Colonies at the very least, and he would have had a huge board of damage. Speaking of Rat Colonies, it's a shame that Eric wasn't able to find as much ramp or draw as everyone else was able to. It became very clear how far behind he was once people were getting their second copies of Cabal Coffers online. Gaunti as a commander is frankly disgusting. Being able to steal one of the cards off the top of your library and then cast it later on for whatever type of mana he wants is very, very, very powerful. I had literally just made the cut for Worst Fears the day that we filmed this game, and it was really funny to see that Kevin was able to cast it before I was. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11am Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mtgmudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at twitch.tv slash mtgmudsta. This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.